Guys, I'm like a teacher. Welcome to Adrian's classroom. All right, friends. So in one of my last videos, I started talking about an MCC, which is a mortgage credit certificate, and that gives me the option of getting a tax credit on the interest on my mortgage, as opposed to deducting the mortgage interest from my taxes. And as I was talking about it, I realized it's a little bit more complicated than I could explain in that video. So I'm going to be comparing tax credits versus tax deductions on my little whiteboard that I used to use in college, let's start with a tax deduction. So let's say you make $50,000, Just let's just make it simple. So the standard deduction I think is, I should probably double check, I think the standard deduction is $12,000. So if you were to just take the standard deduction, you would be able to do minus $12,000, which is, that is $38,000, and then you would only be paying taxes on this amount of money. So this is your standard deduction. I'm gonna put S for standard deduction. However, if you made $50,000, instead of taking the standard deduction, if you bought a house and you had the interest on your mortgage, or if you had a lot of medical expenses, or if you donated a lot of money, if all of those qualifying deductions that you have, if all of those add up to more than $12,000, you can itemize your deductions, which basically means you itemize everything, like you donated money to your church, and you had surgery on your hip, which I did at one point, and you have a house, and you have interest on your mortgage that you're paying, if this all adds up to more than, like the total of this, if this all adds up to more than $12,000 or whatever the standard deduction is, I really should have checked that before I filmed this video. But if that adds up to more than $12,000, which let's just say it's $15,000 is what all of those expenses adds up to, you would only be paying taxes on $35,000 got it. So whatever the incremental tax rate is for $35,000 is what you would pay. As opposed to if you just took the standard deduction, you would have to pay taxes on $38,000. So some people, even if they have more qualifying tax deductions, some people just take the standard deduction because it's easier and they don't have to itemize everything. I use TurboTax and itemizing my deductions in TurboTax, I think you have to pay extra for it. Usually it's worth it if you are going to save on taxes in the long run. So that is tax deductions. Now we're going to go over to tax credits. A tax credit is, is another way you can save on your taxes. So let's say that you make $50,000 and you're going to take the standard deduction. So it's $12,000. You're going to pay taxes on $38,000. There are certain things you can qualify for in order to get a tax credit. One of those things, which I was talking about in my last video, is an MCC. An MCC, which stands for a mortgage credit certificate. Instead of, let's say, that the home mortgage was I don't know, $10,000. Let's just make it easy. Let's say the mortgage that you paid for the year on your house was $10,000. The mortgage credit certificate, at least in my state, allows me to take 10% of this and use it as a mortgage credit as opposed to just deducting the $10,000 from my taxes. So that would mean if I were to just do the tax deduction and I itemize my taxes, I would include the $10,000 in this calculation. But if I got the MCC, which is the mortgage credit certificate where I live, that means I can write off 10% of my mortgage interest as a tax credit. So I would do $1,000 as a tax credit and then $9,000 as a tax deduction. So what I would do is I would calculate my taxes using either the standard deduction or the itemized deduction and then I would take my tax credit. I would figure out how much I needed to pay in taxes for let's say the $38,000, whatever the incremental tax rate is, I'm just gonna, off the cuff, I'm going to say that this person has to pay $9,500 on their taxes. I don't know if that's right or not. Let's just say they are now going to have to pay, they're gonna have to owe $9,500 to the government. So what this tax credit would do was that since I got an MCC, I would be able to subtract my tax credit, which is $1,000, from the taxes that I owe. So instead of owing $9,500, I would $8,500. Tax credits are always more beneficial than a tax deduction. I'm really hoping you guys are tracking with me because this is like a confusing topic if someone doesn't explain it well to you. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys going into tax season. That is beneficial to you and yeah. If you did find this video helpful, please go ahead and subscribe down below. I make videos every week on all things investing and personal finance. And if you guys have any other tax questions like this, let me know down in the comments. I would love to answer them and hopefully explain them in a more simple way. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.